what's going on everybody welcome to the best mountain farm and today while it is sunny outside uh it wasn't earlier it is wet 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 and getting cold it's supposed to be down in the teens tonight so i decided to come in and continue working on our living room project that is just a you know nasty weather nasty weather project we've been working on um trim and all is coming along nicely in the barn the bad thing is when it's cold uh outside it's even colder in that big old barn so <laughs> it's got to be wet and not wet and cold or it's just horrible in the barn trying to finish all the trim but i had an idea we have this closet you can see some of my ram stuff old sewing machines and whatnot and we have the dogs and i have their crates here but um trying to get everything a little bit more functional and so what we're going to do today is we're going to leave this closet but i'm going to make built-in uh crates for the two big dogs for copper and moxley uh two crates with doors here um that they can go in and then the two smaller dog crates uh, i'm going to put and make them kind of closed in um the dogs really like having a place that's dark and quiet and their own so i want to give them that plus i have some heavy duty canvas and some foam so that we can make their beds as well uh hopefully ones that they won't rip up like the blankets i'll be able to snug them down to the floor a little bit better all right well let's uh get started on that and start taking some stuff apart <laughs> my temporary wall this is a how the the main parts or how the final products want to be uh i just put this up just for temporary until i got the rest of the wood cut and everything for it um but a landing area where i can let the dogs in here and if i've got company or whatever kind of the dogs have their own little area without having to come in the main room it's kind of important when you've got some you know Maggie Waggy rescues. Maggie Waggy. What are you doing? Hmm? So, take this down so we can get to everything and get finished up. I knew to expect this from having demoed the other closet. This is just where they had to make up height. And so this was the easiest way to do it without having to buy extra lumber. So I'm just gonna cut this footer out because like I said, you know, this doesn't need to come out. I'm just making an opening to make the dog crate. Wait, what, what's that move? Matt, wait, wait. No. No.
All right, so we're getting started on uh, putting our, making our frame for our um, dog crate, our built-in dog crate here. And so what I gotta do is I've gotta cut some uh, two by fours to make the, uh, the frame inside the closet. And then for the top, we're gonna reuse some of the shelves here that we already had. That way we don't lose our shelf space and uh, for the side, I'm going to go get some of the old paneling uh, that we took down from in here that we still have and reuse that. So, again, I always like projects that end up not really costing me anything. So, let's get to cutting some 2x4s. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get our uh, door cut for our uh, closet panel, or our closet built-in dog crate. I got an old cattle panel here. This is what we're going to use for our door. And three of these sections equals 24 inches. So we are going to cut, uh, cut out our dog door width there at 24 inches, which is just about perfect. Uh, just kind of works out that way and All right, so we're back here, Moxley. Just trying to help. And we've got our door opening. Now we have our door. And you can see our door opening. It's just about as wide as our door. So that's not really gonna work for the way I'm making this door. Uh, so I'm gonna have to add on some spacers. But I'm using wood that we took out of the bottom and 
and we're using some wood so I don't have to buy or cut any other wood. And I'm not going to try. You'll see where I'm going with this in just a minute. But I think it'll work pretty well and uh, save a lot of space.
now you can kind of get an idea of basically what I've done here. Uh, this door and they can go in and then I can slide it right back down. All right, well, I have one side done, but I think it's gonna get the job done. All that, you know, I don't even think my computer will be able to get through that. Uh, honestly, I really didn't lose any closet space because these shelves were down there, so you get higher stuff on it there. So I didn't lose actually any shelf area. Um, matter of fact, I gained some shelf width and i'll still have even when i get the second one built over here so i have an empty area right there for vacuum cleaners and big stuff and i'll have two handy dandy dog crates in here that i might put a string or something up here but pretty easy easy enough can't complain too much. All right, everybody. Well, I got to now move some stuff from that side of the closet over here, knock this side out real quick, and then uh, I'll have more closet space so I can move this stuff around and I'll be able to get started on the built-ins on this side, which will be, you know, I don't have a closet, so they're gonna have to be a little bit neater. Um, but make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you want to see the buildings on this side. Thanks for watching.